Hello YouTube, I'm Vince White. I'm an employment attorney on this channel. On this channel. We answer publicly posted questions from YouTube users, getting folks the answers they need from an employment attorney. We have a question here from YouTube user Trust788. Trust788, and I do. I trust the process. Uh, Trust788 asked us, I got fired from my cleaning job at a big hospital. Hey, between you and me, I used to work as a sanitation engineer. And I may tell you that I like people to say sanitation engineer. Was I a janitor? Sure. Is janitor work difficult and complex and like a lot of chemistry? It is. It really is. Like there are there are trades that are less involved and have less to know than janitor work. So when you say cleaning job, I would urge you, I would say to you that you are in fact a sanitation engineer. You are dealing with biology, especially in a hospital. You got to stay safe. You're dealing with chemistry. You got to listen, those covalent bonds, they're not going to come apart on their own. Got to do some stuff, right? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Sanitation engineer. But I digress. Trust788 says, I got fired from my cleaning job at a big hospital. I've had trouble finding a, a new job. Could they blacklist me on everything, all hospitals? So the answer is, uh, listen, can they blacklist you from working at all the hospitals they own? Yes. Sure. Can they give you a bad reference at other hospitals? Like if you apply to a hospital they don't own, and that hospital they don't own calls them up and says, hey, what do you think of Trust 788? They can say, yeah, Trust 788 was terrible. Um, she or he like stole pills and uh, tried to choke a patient with a pillow. It was wild. We do not recommend. Cannot recommend Trust 88. We would say do not hire at all costs. Is that blacklisting you from hospitals they don't own? No, but it's going to be damn hard to get hired. When a trusted employer like a hospital says, yeah, so Trust 788 did try to snuff out a couple of patients with pillows when they made too big a mess, right? And obviously I'm being ridiculous. I'm being facetious here, right? I'm trying to make it funny because it's it sucks. It sucks to tell you that you could be blacklisted. So the answer is, listen, is it illegal for them to discriminate or retaliate or, you know, sexually harass you or come after you for sexual harassment? And, and there's some other forms of retaliation in play um, that could be illegal. Sure. Yeah. And, and check with local counsel. There might be additional things they can't do locally. But generally speaking, generally speaking, in most of the country, an employer is going to be allowed to terminate you at will, so for any non-discriminatory reason or no reason at all, and they're going to be allowed to blacklist you for the same at-will metric. They can blacklist you and say, hey, you're not good to be rehired at any business we own for any non-discriminatory reason or no reason at all. And they can give you a bad reference, loosely speaking. There, there's more to that. Like, there's a little bit more to this, but like for any non-discriminatory reason or no reason at all, generally, check with local council, check with local council, different in different jurisdictions. I'm just saying in most of the country, they can't. Is that wild? Yes. Is that terrifying? Yes. Does it make it hard to earn a living once you've had conflict? with certain very large employers. Yeah, it really does. It's horrifying. It's terrible. It's the law of the land. I can't tell you a different answer. That's the answer. Anyways, Trust788, I wish you great luck finding a job. If this was helpful, like, subscribe, comment down below, share our channel so it can grow. Take care.